Hello everyone, I'm Nitin and in this introduction to distributed systems video, I'll be discussing what is a distributed system, a comprehensive definition of a distributed system, examples of distributed systems, benefits of distributed systems, and challenges of distributed systems. So let's get started. What is a distributed system or distributed computing system? The word distributed refers to spreading something or different parts of something over an area. Accordingly, a distributed system refers to a group of autonomous systems spread out across cyberspace. When we say autonomous systems, that means in their resourcing capacity, they have their own computing resources and not dependent on others for processing. But the question is, why do we connect these autonomous systems? So, these systems are connected in order to collaborate and communicate with each other and use aggregated computing power to perform various tasks or a single task distributed amongst systems. This design offers several benefits over a monolithic or centralized system where all operations are performed in isolation on a single or central system and it does not require any collaboration and communication with other systems. So we have looked at what is a distributed system very broadly. However, it is a multifaceted field with infrastructures that can vary widely. Therefore, it is not easy to define all types of distributed systems using a common definition. Here, I am providing you a comprehensive definition of a distributed system in six steps, which can cover most aspects of a distributed system, if not all. So, a distributed system is a group of loosely coupled systems or commonly called nodes in order to first work together in an interoperable and concurrent way, means all the nodes execute their tasks at the same time by exchanging information. Second, communicate and coordinate their actions by passing messages to one another because they don't have the shared memory, therefore they utilize the message-based communication. Third, tolerate faults without affecting its operations, means one machine can fail without bringing down the entire system. Fourth, achieve common goals means solving a common problem. Fifth, maximize resource utilization and performance by sharing resources and workload among the nodes. Sixth and final, appear as a single cohesive system means it appears as a single system to its users. This definition covers most aspects of a distributed system. Let's summarize the comprehensive definition of a distributed system. A distributed system is a group of loosely coupled nodes in order to work together in an interoperable and concurrent way, communicate and coordinate their actions by passing messages to one another, tolerate faults without affecting its operations, achieve common goals, maximize resource utilization and performance, and appear as a single cohesive system. Let's look at some examples of distributed systems. The most popular example of a distributed system is the internet, the world's largest distributed system. Virtually all web applications are built on a distributed computing system. Another example is an intranet. It is a private network used by organizations to distribute computing resources, services and communications to their workforce. Blockchain and distributed laser are also an example of a distributed system at its design and technical level. However, more precisely, they are a decentralized system, means which is normally not controlled by a single authority. Finally, telephone and cellular networks are also an example of a distributed system. Distributed systems offer several benefits over traditional and centralized computing systems. First is the fault tolerance. A distributed system consists a large number of nodes working together, so failures of some nodes can be tolerated by other nodes, therefore preventing a single point of failure. Second, maximize resource utilization 
and performance, the existing resources in a distributed system can be shared and accessed across multiple nodes for maximizing resource utilization and workload can be shared among the nodes to increase the performance of a distributed system. One of the biggest benefits of distributed systems is scalability means it is easy and generally inexpensive to add additional nodes and functionality as and when necessary. Modern distributed systems are generally designed to be scalable in near real time. So you can add additional computing resources on the fly when the workload increases. Another benefit of distributed systems is cost effectiveness. Distributed systems are typically designed using low cost commodity hardware, therefore making it very economical to scale as and when required. However, the initial implementation cost of distributed system is higher than traditional and centralized systems, but due to their scalability, they quickly become more cost effective. Despite several benefits of distributed systems, they pose several challenges. The biggest challenge is complex design. Distributed systems are more complex to design, manage and understand than traditional and centralized computing systems. Another challenge is failure handling. We already know that fault tolerance is the benefit of a distributed system. However, handling of faults and failures can be difficult with distributed systems because some nodes or components fail while others continue to function. Also, in case of network and communication failure, message may not be delivered to the right nodes or in the right order, which could lead to a breakdown in communication and functionality. Security is another big challenge of distributed system due to a large number of nodes and components separated geographically and could be more vulnerable to security breaches. Finally, management overhead is another challenge of distributed systems due to a large number of nodes and their message-based communication. Additionally, more monitoring, logging, load balancing functions need to be added for visibility into the operation and failures of the distributed system, which could also increase management overhead of distributed systems. This concludes my presentation and thanks for watching my video.